Hey, you must be back for another anal oil change video. This is my 2007 Aprilia Kappa Nord with the Rotax engine. Go ride that thing and get it up to operating temperature. These are dry sump engines, so remove that tank filler plug. This is the tank sump plug. That's the lowest spot and should be used with the cowl removed to drain the majority of the oil from the tank. I pulled this hose off because I wanted to check the screen that resides inside the tank. But under ordinary circumstances, that's the guy to use. This engine only had 6,000 miles on it at the time of this video, and when I pulled that magnetic plug, I believe for the first time, it's pretty impressive. Go ahead and clean it off further. I believe this is the original filter on here. It uh, still says Rotex on it and everything appeared to be original. I took a razor knife and cut off the filter media and opened it all up and the pleats looked remarkably clean. Pre-saturate your new filter. You like my torque wrench? There are long and short filters, so make sure you know what you need before you order. I replaced the plug and housing O-rings. Don't get me going on synthetic, non-synthetic, viscosity, wet clutch, dry clutch. You don't want to go down that rabbit hole with me. 
I think people end up overfilling dry sump engines, so be careful here with this next step. Okay, oil circulated, don't add too much. You do know, of course, that this is all on the center stand. The bike needs to be perfectly vertical. With a hot engine, try to be right in the middle. Glad you got this far. Hope you got some new ideas.